clean energy. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol WPRT, Westport Fuel Systems. So this is a company that is actually involved in the um, engineering, manufacture, and supply of advanced clean fuel systems uh, and components. So they actually, you know, produces these components to a variety of uh, vehicles from like, you know, cars to trucks to semi trucks and to delivery vans and to my surprise this is this is a company that's been around for a while again with the new energy push from the biden administration we're seeing more and more of these companies start to get some some shine start to get your yeah, spotlight so um that's why i wanted to talk about this one uh into this video but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So this company um, actually got uh, my attention because they started gapping after hours um, on Friday. So I'm like, hey, what's going on here? So I kind of jumped in there, took a look at the company, started researching um, just to find out that they had this huge catalyst come out. So let me bring this up here so you guys can see. They have this huge catalyst, which is Amazon ordered more than 1,000 truck engines and that run on compressed natural gas. So this is this is good for them. So they are doing that in in collaboration with uh, Cummins, ticket symbol CMI, uh, because Cummins build um, engines, um, especially heavy engines and diesel engines. So now Cummins is actually now moving into building engines that work that run on natural gas, which is good renewable, um, you know, energy. So this is really good news for these guys. I mean, the fact that Amazon is getting at least a thousand trucks, and if this order goes through, and Amazon likes what they get, chances are they're probably going to order even more. And if so, even Amazon start ordering from then, and other companies see that it's working out for Amazon, guess what they're going to do? They're going to put their own orders and try to get, you know, I mean, that's just competition. It's monkey see, monkey do in, in, in business. So most companies are going to see it and want to get on board. So let's kind of take a look here and see what happened after hours. As you can see, throughout the day, the stock actually just stayed pretty mellow. Nothing around that $8.50 point. And then after hours, when the news came out, this is what happened to the stock. It went from that eight dollars and fifty cents and actually got to a high of about thirteen sixty before pulling back and sitting at uh, twelve thirty uh, for the close. So again, what I anticipate with this one is since this news happened after hours on Friday, a lot of investors were done for the day, and then so when they come in Monday morning, this is going to be the news. They're going to jump on this one and be like, "Whoa, what happened? New order." So. I'm thinking that on Monday when we come in, uh, since we're sitting at twelve dollars and uh, thirty cents here, Monday morning this thing is probably gonna gap. So it, we already we already had a high of about thirteen sixty. Uh, anticipate this thing to break at least fifteen dollars on Monday morning before pulling back. That is my personal speculation. Again, so do your own due diligence. Again, I'm just looking at the momentum because it happens. On Friday after hours, when most traders are done for the day, the news is going to carry into Monday morning. And don't be surprised that it might even push as high as uh, testing 20 before pulling back. Uh, what I see here is if you want to trade this particular stock, guys, um, if you have a, a platform that does pre-market, get up early and put in your order for this one. Because by the time you wait for the market to open, uh, it's going to be gone. Or you can wait and then just wait and buy regularly at the open. But then you have to be a very, very uh, quick executor. So you can get in and out. But for me, I plan on trading this one as well as uh, picking up some shares and holding long term because I like what I see with the company. I like the fact that they are uh, working with other companies. I mean, I've seen they work with, with, with Ford and then some big companies, Volvo. So that tells me that the company is actually heading in the right direction. And now with Amazon, so their, their resume is really getting you know, stronger and stronger. So I, I definitely going to pick up some shares here um, and hold it. But here's what I, I plan on doing. I don't plan on picking up shares when the stock spike. I'm going to wait for a pullback. Right now, it is sat here at this $8.50 for a while before 
this news drove it up like that. So again, I'm gonna wait. It might if it comes down to me around maybe ten nine dollars price point. I might start looking at putting, picking up a position, but so again, I'm anticipating that if it pulls back to, let's say that $9 price point, that would be a good entry point for a long-term position. But for, for just day, for day trading or intraday trading guys, you can just look at the charts and just look at the momentum and trade it accordingly. So that is my speculation. Again, I really like the company. Uh, when I go through and see uh, some of the solutions that I, they provide out there, I think it's really good um, ties. Um, you know, with what the Biden administration is really working on. And again, if you can see here, they actually mentioned it. So um, that WPRT shares already had more than quadruple since November presidential election. So just this point alone right here, it tells you that the momentum of the current administration is driving this uh, company's shares to go up. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. Again, they are pushing for renewable and clean energy uh, in the administration. So that's something that we all want to take advantage of. So you can see again, here's a list of some of the uh, companies that they work with. And if you if we go even further down, you can see uh, some of the solutions that they provide. Um, just go do some research again, do your due diligence by going to the website and just reading through it and see uh, what these companies actually doing. I think they're doing some amazing things. It's it's really amazing that some of these companies are doing wonderful things like this and are still um, hiding and we cannot find all of them. I bet you can't you can't find or win all of these stocks. So that is what I wanted to bring to you guys again. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, these, these two things that I want us to do here for this play. Um, for Monday morning, we can day trade this one and then wait for that pullback and grab some and hold long term. Again, that's my strategy. So see what works for you. If you really have a ton of plays in the EV space, you might just day trade this one and let it go. But if you don't have a ton of plays, and then this would be one that you can definitely actually um, buy and hold long term. And here's why I, I want you to be involved in this or at least give this uh, stock some consideration. Because we are talking about batteries um, with the EV space, a lot EV cars and lithium batteries. It looks like that's the focus that everybody is, is on. And I've mentioned this to you guys over and over, like fuel cells are going to come into play. If we really want to make that transition and go to clean energy, it cannot, we, our focus cannot just be on batteries. It has to be a combination of batteries and, and fuel cells and hydrogen cells and all these other things that can definitely benefit us. So um, that's why I, when I see plays like this, I know for sure that we have to, you have to have them in your portfolio. And the other thing too is, again, this is my personal, my personal take here. Uh, a lot of vehicles that are running today on uh, fossil fuel, when you retrofit them with technologies like this, and they can actually reduce about 70% of their carbon emission, to me, that's a win. Because if you go from 100, you you reduce, you're down to 30, that is, that's a big time win. Do you know how much um, a CO2 uh, would be taken out of, the ad, uh, out of the atmosphere if we do that for every fossil fuel vehicle that there is out there. So that's my take. So I don't think that every people are just going to stop driving fossil fuel. It's going to be a slow transition. So we go from like, hey, converting what we have today into uh, at least um, a point where they don't emit a ton of fossil fuel or a ton of uh, CO2 and then slowly transitioning to those um, chargeable or EV vehicles. So that is the plan that I see for this one. So let me know in the comment section what you think uh, about this one. And again, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. And if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up, you get some free stocks links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a crazy savage and stay motivated.